Okay, so here I have a little uh, different video than usual. So in some other things and projects, I already covered some of the features that my flight computers do. Um, nothing crazy, just a standard flight computer. But I always wanted to have a sort of dashboard or a kind of a user interface where I can see what's happening, maybe even graph things out, output some things, values, so I can see it live. Um, and so I decided to do that with uh, the FC-102, which I made, that only has a uh, barometer and inertial uh, measurement unit, which is enough to have plenty of data and to see if the thing works. Um, so I decided to take the data coming outside of uh, the serial monitor and put into Visual Studio, where I kind of made uh, graphs um, in a bunch of labels that I can see uh, the values that are being outputted, such as gyros and all the axis, accelerometers, altitude, temperature, and pressure. And so I wanted to show you that today. So here's like the standard program where I kind of programmed uh, the entire flight computer. So we have the accelerometers, uh, kind of all the, all the gyros, all the good stuff. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm putting it all in a serial packet, which is like a sentence which basically starts with a special character and then Visual Studio can read off the first character and know that that value before it is the gyroscopic value for the X as well as the Y, Z, and it'll do that so on and so forth for the rest until there is a new line, which I printed down here, uh, and then it's just going to read from the beginning, the last, so it's going to a little loop. And so I take that data that's going to be on the serial monitor and I run it through Visual Studio here and I take it and graph it out as well as editing labels. And so the final design kind of looks something like this where you have different uh, stations for different things such as pressure, accelerometer, and gyroscopes. And so if I initiate kind of the program and start it up, uh, there's a window that pops up where I can edit the port, which I can try to zoom in there. So here we have the port value, just like you would have in a regular Arduino, for example, IDE, where you have you choose your port uh, and choose your baud rate. And uh, earlier you saw two flight computers that were connected. So, you know, expectedly there we're gonna see two COM ports. Uh, and so you choose your COM, your, I'm sorry, your baud rate. So I use 9600 for this example on this uh, flight computer. And so when I kind of press open, uh, oh, I have to choose my com. And then you'll see that all the graphs disappear because it's ready to output the data. Um, and so if I kind of shake my flight computer so that the launch detect sequence turns on, there you go, you see a bunch of graphs and values starting to show up, which is, I think really cool. Um, this took, uh, longer than expected. It was a lot of debugging, but it did finally work. And there's a bunch of, you know, you got your gyro values and I decided to add a little complementary filter so that the signal is way, way smoother. If you see that, oh, the camera's not focusing. There you go. So there is your, your X value and then you have your Y value. It's moving up nice and smoothly. And so I rest that on the next we have the accelerometer value. And so this is, uh, you know, the values make sense. You got around nine point, it should be 9.8 meters per second on the Y axis. And then relatively, you know, zero because the other ones are uh, normal to that Y axis. Um, on the altitude, uh, it's just reading from a BMP 280, nothing, nothing crazy. You're getting, uh, you know, it's pretty accurate. So when I go up by roughly a meter, it slowly goes up to that respected value. Then when I come back down, it decreases. And it's the same for both uh, system pressure and system temperature. If this allows me to kind of, there you go. So here you'll see your pressure. Uh, oh, I don't know what's happening there. That's a really large number. I think that's just Pascal's, this should be divided by 100, but that's a quick fix on the Arduino side of things. It graphs that out, as well as your temperature. So your temperature here, it says 24.63 degrees Celsius. And I have a little uh, little physical one here, and it says 26. 
it's somewhat the same. I'm not really satisfied by that number, but you know, all of these problems are on the Arduino side. But I just wanted to show you this UI, which I think is pretty cool, and, uh, and I feel like a lot of uh, Rocketeers would like to have, so that it feels more real and more professional when working with uh, custom flight computers. I also forgot to mention that I put a avionic status um, kind of box here so that you can kind of see uh, what's happening in the system. So it's not just graphs and values, but also uh, status. So if the connections are right, if uh, launch detection is true or false, if the continuity is good, if uh, pyro has been ejected. And even below here, I added a little box which prints out the serial or data packet that we talked about earlier in the Arduino program. And you can see here that, you know, the values are printed out and then each sequence are printed out in the charts or respected labels. Um, and so it's really like kind of a simple uh, implementation to your rockets because uh, sure, right now my flight computer is wired up to my computer, but this can easily just be uh, through radio transmission from your flight computer uh, into your serial monitor, which is then printed out into visual. So even if it's, you know, obviously not wired and wireless and through radio, this can work perfectly fine. I wouldn't see, sure, there might be a small delay or a lag, but it should still work. Uh, so that's just something else to point out. So that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this project. Uh, yeah, thanks.